Hey everyone, this is Nathan Cruz with Cruz and Views. Welcome to our channel. Uh, just going to do a quick intro, let you know what this channel is going to be all about, which is going to be uh, big rigs and big adventures. Uh, I'm going to let you know why I built or purchased a 2019 Ram 5500, uh, did the modifications to it, um, and uh, do a little walk around there. So thank you so much for stopping by and enjoy the intro. The cookie. Hey y'all, so here's the truck, 2019 Ram 5500, and uh, just showing you a quick little walk around, and then I'm going to go in depth, uh, do a series of reviews of everything that I've done with this thing. I'm about eight months into it and as you can see it definitely doesn't look like your typical Ram 5500. Anyway, big shout out to Buckstop Truckwear out of Prineville, Oregon. These guys are amazing. Did this bumper, they did the single wheel conversion and they uh, they did a lots of other uh, accessories to this truck as well. But anyway, so the reason why I did this, guys and ladies, is I wanted a truck that was very capable off-road, sorry. I ended up getting this uh, Laramie package. I ended up getting a... Uh, nap hide aluminum flatbed so I wanted to be able to go off-road I wanted to be able to take this truck anywhere and not have any limitations so hence the single wheel conversion as you can see, Buckstop, Dorian, uh, has engineered, those boys up there engineered a single wheel conversion kit for this. And they take off the two dually rear wheels. They take off the front hockey puck tire. And they custom make these 20 inch steel rims. And then they wrap them with these continental 33580 R20 MPTs multi purpose terrain military tires. These are amazing. I went with a Kelderman two link rear air ride system, which disconnects the massive leaf springs and, um, has all the bumps transferred through this uh, air ride. Anyway, guys, this has been such a awesome conversion. And I'm just looking forward to showing you more, uh, going in more depth. I really went with this whole platform, the, the Ram 5500, because... It allows me to have over 11,500 uh, pounds of payload on that rear axle. And that's important because later this month, but I'm going to be picking up a Host Mammoth 11.6 truck camper. This is going to be a bad boy. Really nice, the Laramie 2. These steps I got from Aries, they uh, deploy, which is really cool. If you want to take a look at that. Super 
heavy duty aluminum housing but anyway here's the inside of this ram i mean really guys i went with this because this interior is so amazing heated cooled seats um i mean this is just awesome again i'll go i'll go more into it uh here's for the passenger rear passenger rear heated seats as well you know all these usbs and crazy baby seeing has got her car seat ready to roll in fact there's the company buck stop truck wear you guys gotta check them out okay we'll see you inside hey so there's also a few other things that I wanted to uh, kind of go in depth a little bit more about. Uh, again, just kind of these reasons why I have done the things that I've done for this truck. Um, I know it's pretty extensive. I know that, uh, you know, it's it's one of those things where it's, it's honestly taken me like almost eight months to get to where I'm at. But, you know, some of the biggest things and challenges that I uh, found... When I was looking for a truck to pretty much carry a up to an 8,000 pound payload was all of the, um, well, first off, the 1500s and the 2500s, those are all out. So then you have the 3500, which is the, the highest platform that you can have when it comes to a personal vehicle. And those all kind of capped out around 6,000. Uh, 6,500 pounds of payload. And when I mean capped out, that's like the absolute max, guys. Like that is, you're not supposed to be loading that much on that back axle. So when I found that out, and then I'm looking at the camper I'm wanting, which is a host mammoth, you know, a uh, 11.6 uh, model, um, you know, those things are like 5,000 pounds dry. And then you have, you know, over almost... 175 gallons of between fresh water, gray water, black water, you know, 70 gallon auxiliary fuel tank, a 350 pound spare tire, truck boxes filled up to the gills, clothes, food, everything you guys can think of that you want to put in or on your, your truck to go out for a month or two, you know, you're getting over 8,000, 9,000 pounds of payload. So I just had to jump up to this quote unquote commercial size, which is kind of ridiculous if you ask me uh, that, that these trucks are labeled commercial or, or you got to get commercial insurance. That's a whole nother video. But listen, you know, the main things, the main things is the payload. I wanted this truck to be overbuilt. I did not want payload to be an issue. Uh, so again, this truck is rated at 11,500 pounds of payload. It's sick. It's like, it's, it's beyond what I can really put on this truck, but I never have to worry about it. It's just like the, the Sherpa winch I have up front, you know, that's a 17,000 pound winch. I'm never going to probably need 17,000 pound pulling power, but if I ever did, I've got it. Um, and so that's why I jumped up to this level. Also, these tires uh, that, that I was showing you in the video on the truck, you know, these tires are 40 inch continental multi-purpose terrain MPT-81 tires. These things are, their load capacity is 6,700 pounds each. So those two rear tires are over 13,000 pounds combined. And my payload's 11,500. So my tires in the rear actually can hold more than what this entire truck's payload capacity is. And that's, again, one of the benefits of going from duly small little hockey puck tires to these huge military tires is that you can put a lot of weight, a lot of capacity on them. Also, they're radial tires. I could not uh, air down or air up the small skinny dually tires. You cannot do that. Those are meant for the road. That's why they're 95 PSI hard as a freaking rock tires. You know, man, those will sink so quick in, in snow, in sand, in mud. That's why these dually trucks are only good for the pavement. Well, I'm not going on the pavement. You know, I didn't want to be 
constrained just to the pavement. Um, I really want to take this thing off road so I can air up and down these radial tires. I can air these tires down all the way from 75 PSI down to 20 PSI. Get, get maximum traction, maximum footprint on that uh, off-road terrain, on that uh, sand. It's awesome. I mean, this thing is awesome. Um, I was telling you also, with Buckstop, and, and there's another guy there, Clinton. He's uh, he's amazing, too. All those guys there, and, and there's a woman there, too. She's really, she's really awesome. But they're all great. They all speak this language of... You know, we're, we have no boundaries and I love that, that theme, you know, it's kind of like, don't let the, um, the fence posts or, or trees stop you. Just keep going eight foot wide front bumper, massive steel gauge. Um, you know, they specifically do these single wheel conversions for brush trucks. I didn't even know what a brush truck was, but those are like the fire trucks way up in the Oregon Hills and the California Hills mountains and stuff. Those are the firemen that, that are on the side of a mountain freaking putting out forest fires. And they got to have these massive 5,500 Ford F-550 brush trucks. And they deck them out with hundreds of gallons of fresh water to douse the fires and all their equipment but they're like on the side of these mountains and so the 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 flexibility of of the single wheel conversion a huge attribute to the single wheel conversion going from those two small tires is that nothing can, can get stuck in between those tires you know a rock a branch that could split pop knock off on those tires Plus, you've got six freaking tires, six opportunities to get a flat. You know, now I've got four. Multiple, multiple pluses and, and reasons to go with a single wheel conversion like I've done. Um, the clearance. You know, I'm I'm like over 20, 23 inches up, um, you know, on my uh, rear hitch over ground. I mean, that's almost two feet. It's crazy. So listen, I hope you kind of enjoyed just a quick walk around some of the the um, reasons, my my thoughts and my convictions of taking a commercial truck, building it out to a personal truck, but then building it out to where you can go over and and through anything. Um, so enjoy the series. Uh, I will go in depth more on the complete single wheel conversion install. I will go more in depth on the Kelderman two link air ride uh, that I have now on the rear of the truck. I will go more in depth on just some of the small accessories like the, the camera systems that I have, the winch, uh, especially the recovery stuff from Factor 55 out of Boise, Idaho, USA, baby. Those guys are bad to the bone. And um, I just can't wait to share more of this with you. So be well. We'll talk to you soon. Bam.